With a reach of over 200,000 across social media platforms and over 30 million views, the Grassroots Panel format has grown from its humble beginnings, discussing relationships, society, and the future of our generation. We traveled stateside to Houston and New York, but there's no place like home when it comes down to it. As Backchat returns, we've brought back some of our most prolific cast members, along with some new faces, as we present our evolution. The debates are still as controversial as ever, but this time, we're in Cyprus. And now with the cast all living together under one roof, get ready to see a whole new side of Backchat. The laughs, the tears, the aftermath. This is Backchat Uncensored. I've always felt chosen and selected from the first time I had the opportunity being in Batchat. So it's come around again, I'm ready for the kill. I want to do this. Every step I take has been risky, but it's always made sense. Even coming into Batchat, um, especially because of the background that I'm from, had a big question mark on it. And I remember the first day I was coming towards the, the Batchat auditions and that I was saying no to something else while saying yes to back chat. I was actually walking towards the train station to come for the audition. And I was making a crucial decision at that time to get this call and be like, come we go to Cyprus and do this and do that. Why the hell not, mate? So I got a phone call not too long ago. Um, decided to take the offer. Haven't packed, have no clothes. Don't know what to expect. Um, all I know is that going out to Cyprus and two weeks with a bunch of people I do not know I'm looking forward to seeing who comes back, seeing if there's any newbies on board. This is a mad social experiment, like spending two weeks with a bunch of people together <laughs> in a house and being filmed all day long is absolute madness. And I know, if, if I know these lot, something's gonna go off, something's gonna go off. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to an opportunity, um, but I am a little bit tentative. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very hesitant, you know, about leaving my daughter. I have, you know, gone away for work in the past, but, you know, it's a bit different because I'm going away for two whole weeks, which is quite long. You know, it is quite sad, but I do know she's gonna be in good hands with my mama, but I'm still sad about it. As well as I'm going into a house, you know, with some people that I don't really fuck with. So I am very hesitant about it. I'm very nervous. I don't know where it's gonna go. I am gonna go in there with my guard up. I've got my boxing gloves on, bring it. I've, I've been working hard, I've been working hard for a while. Um, Backtrack come during the process of me working initially and um, great life experience, great experience in terms of um, opening up different doors for me. I haven't been so active on the socials and I feel like I'm at a crossroads in my life, especially with this whole you know creative side that God's kind of brought into my life. Um, to really decide whether I'm going to either you know be a full-time working guy or cross over and do this full-time creative stuff. But the opportunity was too, you know, too good to miss up on. I couldn't be in London thinking about something that I was part of from the jump, knowing how amazing it was, to know that the project is going in a similar direction in terms of amazement and not be part of it. That's the regrets I can't live with. So the cast are flying out to Cyprus with no idea who to expect when they get there. Are the guys ready for another alpha male? Can the girls handle a new rival? Let's find out. I fell in love with you at the same time. I fell in love with the city and all of the lights. I fell in love with you at the same time that I found my calling, baby. I just can't ignore it, girl. I wish I could. Cause you're a good girl, got a good heart. Life pushed this too far to move on and restart. So come down and keep calm. I can't. Didn't have to pretend 
At least it's got normal plugs, boy. Where should we go first? The kitchen. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh my god, this is stunning. Oh. Check the view out, doesn't it look like Hollywood? I've just got to the villa. I have no idea what to expect. All I know is my pits stink and I'm fucking hungry. Atelia seems really, really nice. She seems. I don't know, I think there's a lot more to her. She seems like she's got, not like a secret, but she seems like she's holding back a bit. Um, so I think she's going to be a very interesting person to look out for in the house. Oh, this is cute. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting some massive roast. Oh, this yeah. is cute. What is this? Juice? Big belly rude boy. This must be a oh, drink. Oh, sick. Isn't it? Yeah. Cocktails. Oh, amazing. Like that. That's so cute. Product placement. Product placement. <laughs> Big belly Where's the rude pound of jam? <gasps> <laughs> yes, actual food. I can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, look, there's more oh, over there's here. there's more food. Is there more food? <laughs> yeah. Of course there you is. see right here. Or maybe this is for everyone else. <laughs> Prawns. Rice. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Rice. I can smell fish somewhere. Is that prawns? That, I'm that must be the prawns, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. The new cast members are the first to arrive at the villa and don't waste any time in building a relationship with the kitchen. Mark seems to be offloading some extra luggage. Ah, no tissue. Jesus. <coughs> Where's the gym? Nobody used the toilet, please. The pasta's so good, isn't it? It's well nice. This is rabbit food. <laughs> Oh, there's a washing machine. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Did you buy washing powder? If you brought that, I would die. I'll go to the shop. <laughs> no, I need to get toiletries, to be fair. So I was supposed to buy them in the airport, but then obviously we had issues. Prior to me actually being here in Cyprus, um, I've seen the show on Instagram. I've seen like clips of it and stuff. It looks really, really good. I know some of the characters I'm familiar with, like Biscuit, obviously I saw that thing of him slapping his mum's bum that went viral. I'm actually excited to meet some of the old cast members and to see who's actually gonna come back because I don't know out of the whole cast, obviously all the seasons, who's actually gonna be in the house and who's not. <laughs> no, there's washing powder. Like, oh, I think so. Are you sure? That looks like dishwasher powder to me. I don't know the difference. But by all means, you can try it. <laughs> so it it's the same thing. It all does wash wash. No, no it doesn't. No. <laughs> your clothes will come out and they'll be discoloured and weird yeah. and hard. And but by all means, if you want to try that, then that's down to you. You've only got to be out here for 11 days. <laughs> 11 days? I thought it was eight. Oh, I don't know. However many days. I thought it was 12. 12? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, come on, come on, come on. I've only got boxes for eight days. Eh? Wow. At least we've got a washing machine, in yeah. it? <laughs> no, I'll just wear one of them back to front. Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's called being creative. Mark, Sinead and Atelier have been told to only stay in the living area. The rest of the villa is still out of bounds as they await the rest of the housemates. Remember, they still don't know which cast members they'll be sharing the villa with. I didn't sleep to that, but it could be relaxing, like a rainfall. We hear B. We hear B. The marine land. Ah, you people don't want to open this door. It's like the worst to be meeting people. Like this. Woo! Henchman! Swear down, you got a drink at the Henchman! Wow! What do you say to Why'd you say it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Yo, so the house is lit. Hey, let me put the bag down. We back, it. baby! Fucking hell. Yeah. Shit. Okay, okay, Hi. you not tried. You not tried. What's up, man? Hi, nice to meet you. So, what's Your up? Your name? Atelia. Sinead, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sinead. Sinead. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Good, are you? I'm good, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mad. Be levels. Where, where's everybody else? Be levels. All right. Hello. No, From... Okay. From what? Huh? From what? Shams in Oh, wow, yeah. Sinead, seen Sinead, recognise her from the past somewhere, but she don't seem to want to acknowledge that. 
bit awkward and that still. Go go. Yeah, no, I'm there from. Good to be back. Well, we raised it, yeah? It's been a minute still. Been from a minute. the kitchen to the next thing. It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Happy, happy, happy days. Is there more people coming? No, not yet. Mark Cuban. I've known Mark actually for a while. Um, really good guy. Like, kind of like a BFG, but, you know, people get to see that. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like, to be honest with you. Like, I was just gassed for, you know, to have a partner in crime, somebody that's not just going to sit there and do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think now. Alright, oh my god, I know you! I know you! I'm a hench nigga, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, this is cute. <laughs> nice. Hi, how are you? I want a hug. Oh, uh, what is this security <laughs> card? Now, why is man hench in that door? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right, I'm big, relax, man. What? Are you, are you living? As soon as I open the door, who do I see? Mark Cuban. Like, I've seen him before at events, you know, we've been in similar environments, but. I wasn't expecting him to be in this house. But Mark of all people, like, he is sexy. Everyone knows he's a good looking guy. So I'm a bit starstruck over this guy. Who the fuck is that guy? Why is he so big, bruv? Where's his SIA badge? Why are you bringing this hedge guy in here? I need all the help I can get. I thought man's gonna come to Casa the back chat and get some love and you guys are bringing some serious competition. I mean, I need that, guys. I mean, I need it. See him? Mm. No! Oh, get out of here, man. Oh, what's your name? Oh, Mark, yeah? The money, man. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Lovely to meet you. How are you? Lovely to meet you. Hello, Atelio. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Nice. 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 My best friend. Yeah. 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 And one by one, or should I say two by two, the rest of the housemates come flooding in. Mark, again, seems to be getting some attention, even from the mandem. Hello. How are you? Hey, my girl. Hi, sweetie. You, you know what? Yeah. Oh. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Let me just exit. <laughs> AJ. About two weeks ago, I was thinking about, like, where are you? Like, where wow. you been? I said, I'm about, man. <laughs> what you're about for real? Yeah, I'll be preening everybody still. See what everybody's on. Good to see you though. Mm -hmm. You know, just looks so cold, isn't it? Why do you like, we have to get big man evicted because <laughs> 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 he has to get evicted. He's got to go, bro. What? I'm in the gym. I'm interested in building muscle, so I admire men with good physiques. Mark has that. He's got a good physique. He's tall, you know. He's he almost fits that, you know, kind of ideal brother thing. He's got the beard and all that kind of shit. So. All this alpha male talk, him and Lucas can go and do gladiator between themselves and figure it out. So what's your name? Mark. Mike. Mark. Mike. Mark. Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from Essex originally. I went to private school my whole life, but she lived in East. So because we were so close, any time I had any type of time off, I was in always in East. So people just assumed I was from East London. You say my G. Shake my hands again. I feel like Solda is here. Topa's here. So right now, I'm in this mindset where I don't really know anybody. Everybody's kind of made their alliances, and you know, to be a new person in a house seeing them on the TV, to meeting them in person, I got to suss them out. So, like I do, I go in my shell, play that silent wolf, and lock onto the target. It doesn't take long till we have our first argument at the villa, courtesy of Nunu and Be Money on veganism. Nunu no longer eats meat. Well, not on a plate, anyway. If I was a Muslim here and I came in here and I started telling you that... Christian, Christian, you don't even know what you're believing in. You be like, allow it. So if you're you... no, because you don't even know the other side. Okay. Have you ever done research about people that don't eat meat? Yes. Be vegetarian yes. and veganism. Yes. Have you? You got shaka bars on Instagram. I don't need anybody else. So... You don't know why. You think that people like me are just doing it because it's a nice title. I'm doing it because right. I'm educated. No, no, no. At the end and of I know the, day, the truth, okay. and the truth will set me all free. I, all I want to say to you is, at what? the end of the day, there is a there is a bunch of us in this room. Some of us eat meat and some of us don't. No, uh, 
everybody, everybody in here, eats please. Me. By everybody show here eats me. Put your hand up I'm if you are a vegetarian or a vegan. There you go. We're there done. you we fucking go. There you fucking go. We're all healthy. Nobody knows the truth. But we're all That's healthy. That's the point. Nobody knows the truth. We don't care. Nobody knows Enlighten the fucking truth. Enlighten one. Yeah. It's not that we don't know the truth. Don't know the it's not that we don't know the truth. There's a choice. There's many things no, no, we know they don't know. that are wrong. She's not even woke. She's woke. How many people here know that antibiotics is a myth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hand up if you know. Put your hand up if you know. None of you fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you fucking know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you fucking know. Yeah, you don't even know what you're eating. No one fucking knows. Nunu watches one documentary, yeah, and she just goes mad. All right, number one, elephant medical is really bad for you because you, they're side effects, okay? Number two, there was a guy. He had food poisoning. This one guy you keep mentioning. This one guy. He had food poisoning. I don't know. I'm not interested. He went to the doctor. What did they give him? The same antibiotics that was in the animal. He could not recover from the, he almost died. The same antibiotics they give you is the same they put in the animal. Master veggie, superstar, champion eater of vegetables. This is the first time hearing about this. You watch one documentary, you keep mentioning this one guy that you know about. Where did this one start? Bio is the study of the body of biology. Anti is against. Antibiotics it means anti-life. Antibiotics well, are not cooked anyway. Yeah, it's exactly. Not so it's not oh, nothing to do with the that's meat. The fact that it's in the meat and you're eating it, that's oh, bad yeah, enough. Yeah, we know what you're on about. You get me? Just because we're not preaching it doesn't mean we're clueless. Unless you're growing your own food and you're on some organic tea, you're fucked. Like some people don't care. This is the lesser evil. For me to be vegetarian. Let me ask you a question. Do you grow your own veg? I will start. I Answer the question. Start. Do you grow your I'm own veg? I'm going to start. The question. Woo! I love it. Hello. Hey, what's this? Who's that? 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 Who's How are you guys doing? Fantastic. I can't really hear you. How are you guys doing? So welcome to Back Chat Uncensored here on this gorgeous island, Cyprus, of course. We are in this absolutely stunning mansion. So loving it. So my name is Wobby Bello and I'm going to be your host throughout this entire we trip. Know. <laughs> we know, girl. I'll be letting you know the task and the rules and regulations that you guys have to follow whilst you are here. I'll be honest with you, nobody's expecting Wumi Bello to be parading down the stairs in one glossy white dress like that. Anybody who is saying they're not admiring is lying. They're lying. So if you guys want to move a little bit closer to me so I can let you know what those rules are. Just a little bit closer, you know, just a little bit closer. We will be moving. Let's be moving towards you. <laughs> So the first rule is you guys must all stay in your assigned rooms. So that means you guys can obviously have conversation with your friends in their rooms, whatever, but when you're going to bed, it's straight into your rooms and your rooms only. Can I just say you look dashing? Thank you. So do you. Hey, big man, I told you. I told you already. I told you already. So following on to the next rule, there is no sleeping on these sofas. Not one bit. You have to stay in your room. So it's understandable that your roommates can piss you off. You might be annoyed. But regardless, you've got to go back into your bed. All right, so the last rule is, I'm not sure if you guys have seen, we have a huge pool outside and it's absolutely stunning. But I just have to warn you that the pool cat is a little bit deep, just a little bit. So if you can't swim, please, please. Why didn't anybody cater to me? Because I made it known that I couldn't swim from the get-go. Don't go in, that's what they're saying. Hey, there's a paddling pool. Shut up. No, there's a hot tub, there's a hot tub, there's a hot tub. No, so I feel there's very There's seats offended. available by the pool for you. So if I you want to enter you know, inside the pool. If you guys want to follow me, I'll take you to your first half. Oh, already? Fast? We're not sleeping tonight, you know? No, we're not. <laughs> so, this is your first task. Give me Bobo Lee. So, like I said before, you guys have assigned What's rooms. What's up this? What's up this? Man? But I'm going to need you to pay close attention to understand exactly what's going on here. So, as I said before, you have assigned rooms, but you have the option to pick the rooms. So I'm going to need one boy and one girl to pick. So the lady picks from the pink and man Lucas, don't can pick from here. Yourself. Ideally, I would like to be in a room with Esther. So put me in a room with Esther. If not, then, you know, it might get a bit awkward. I don't take good to new people, so it's a bit tough, but whatever. As long as I'm not sharing a room with Nini, I'm calm. <laughs> so Lucas, you do the first pick. 
Don't, don't <laughs> fuck, <laughs> don't <laughs> fuck <laughs> it up. I see it. Wait, what does this mean? Guys, you know what? Right? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Guys, you know what? I'm going to have to give you three seconds to pick a card. So yeah. one, yeah. two, yeah. three. Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Essie, you've already picked it. Yeah. I really, 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 really pray that I'm not sharing a room with Nunu. Like, as in, I am praying to Jesus God Almighty. Any sin that I have committed, please wash them. Because I do not want to share a room with that gal. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. So why can't, there you why go. can the men see the text and we can't see You ours? can also see your text, but there's yeah. something inside oh, it. You... Now I'm not doing this. No, fuck this. I'm telling you now, if I don't get a correct room, I'm not doing it. Next email. Let me pick, let me pick, let me pick. Go on. Just to clarify, it's females staying with females and males Yay. staying with males. Well, that's boring. Hey, Mark, go first, fam. <laughs> but you can't muscle me out. I know you got muscles, but you go first. <laughs> Everybody likes to talk and make it seem as if to say being bigger than an average man is a problem. Um, be money particularly, man. I wasn't feeling that. I mean, he made it a big scene as if to say me and him are mates. I don't know you, B. We've only got one friend in common. And, you know, God rest his soul, he's not about no more. But apart from that, you know, B, if you're feeling threatened, get in the gym. So if you guys want to open all your cards to find out what rooms you're in. So we, can, we should open it now? Yeah, just open your cards and find out what rooms you're in. Room two is rubbish, isn't it? Oh, I like this. Don't be shy, bro. I'm probably going to have a big window that shows my pussy. So what you'll find is you might get the same numbers. And what that basically means is you'll be sleeping in the same room. Okay. All right, so what I want you guys to do now is basically go find what rooms you're in. The girls are pink, the boys are white. Good luck, have fun. While the others wander around the villa, securing their rooms, Esther is not happy about the news of her and Nunu sharing a room together. Young love formed in an instant. Magic, it lasts for a lifetime, baby. I'm pissed at production. I'm pissed at Zoe. I'm pissed at Andy. I'm pissed at everybody. I'm pissed at anyone looking at me. I am pissed because there's no way on this earth that I am sharing a room with Nunu. And furthermore, it is a double bed. We're not even separated. We have to do skin on skin, toe to toe, touching, touching, spooning. Hell no. It's not happening. Yes. Man, do hey, shit hey, for the gram and tweet. Don't worry about that. No, that's what I'm worried. No, why are you worried for? You just, you because you can bond. I'm not sharing. You no. can bond. No. Why? No. You can bond, isn't it? <laughs> Maji. You have to rise, innit? I'm not sharing. Don't fucking come, piss come, me come. off. Don't piss me so, off. What are you going to do? They need to sort this out. No, that's not going to happen. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know that's not going to happen. Like, Esther? Boy, yeah, <laughs> boy, you get me? <laughs> you speak, yeah. You and Nunu might just have to hold that one still, you know. You don't have to just undo that still. But as for your boy, I mean, I got my guy, me and Gogo, we're set, we're good. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about no dramas, no issues. Like, we're good, we're good on our side still. Esther, wait, did she get one? So you lot are sharing a bed? Hey, my room's bad. Esther, have you seen yours? Hey, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why can't we share rooms? No. Who's in room four? Why do you want to know? Because that, that, whatever that room is, I'll need that. No, we have it. She don't need it. I'll pay, I'll pay. No, how much are you talking? How much you want? How much you want? Free I want five bed? bills, no less than that, bro. If we're not talking that, then I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> You're free. <laughs> Why? Hey, hey. Which side man got room two? Wait, wait. Who is this one? Oh, I can see why I said. You get what I'm saying. That's real. All right. Have you seen room one? Have you seen room one? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you? It's one bed, you know. It's not funny, though. I can't lie. It's funny because then it's bad. Is it? I'm telling her then. Apparently, Nunu's lying, bro. Exactly. That's dumb. That's so dumb. Like, who does that? See what I mean? Like, she's just, she just likes to start trouble. Like, you're not in the same room with Esther. Why are you lying? Why are you trying to create a problem where there's literally no problem? Like, everybody's always saying, yeah, she's, she doesn't know what she's doing. 
Nunu knows exactly what she's doing and this has just proven it. Like, I don't get it. Do you want Esther to cry? Do you, you yourself, do you want to sleep in the same room with her? What's your room? What's your room? Because we know it's not one. What's your room? Why do you know it's not one? Because we heard that you're lying. So what's your room? It's number you're one, man. I can show you. Show me. Oh, no. So number one, all by themselves. Let me see. It's not one, in it? It is one. Let me see. <laughs> Open it. Look, 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 look. Four. <laughs> <laughs> You like drama You're too much, it's not every man. day. I can't even trust you, Adrian. There is God in heaven. <laughs> yes, bitch, there is God. God really answered my prayer. I was actually scared because that's just not my time. I want, I like to live in harmony and peace. And right now there ain't gonna be no harmony and peace if me and Nuni be sharing a room together. Are you, feel, are you feeling all right? I've got your burden now. What you consider a burden, yeah, I've got it. You've got, you got the strength. I'm not a burden. I'm not a burden. Thank you. I'm not a burden. No, I said what she considers. I'm not a burden. I'm not a burden. All right, let me get my suitcase. You like all the best shit. Do it. Don't worry, you got a room to yourself. I've got peace. I'm going to share it. At least you've got peace. At least you've got peace, isn't it? <laughs> I'll still come and catch you in the night, don't worry. <laughs> I'm so pissed, man. Can't trust certain people here already. Someone's proven. Now that it's all laughs and giggles, the cast can finally take their luggages to their designated rooms as the rest of the day unfolds. Boy, this room situation seems to be rubbing people up the wrong way. Some people are not happy about the arrangement. Joke that Looney started, but it's gone a bit far now. Um, now she seems a bit upset. I'm not really sure what's wrong with her, but we have to find out. Bro, I don't even like this chicken, you know. Is that what you're eating? Pasta? Yeah. What? I don't I'm vegetarian. Stuff, isn't it? Yeah. You know how, like, obviously, since the reunion, mm -hmm. I haven't seen anyone since reunion. And you know I had a lot of problems. End of the reunion. So when I came here today, I was so nervous because I thought people still had that beef from reunion. So I wasn't sure how to respect, um, to react. Okay. But P Reva has actually shown me a different side to her. Because listen, I didn't talk to Reva for two years. Yeah. She never, even when we saw her at events, yeah. she would never acknowledge me. So today I'm like, oh, she's got a good heart. She's got a change of heart, which is positive. Yeah. But she said something that really struck me that? that I was a burden what would you to, to, to um, Esther. Yeah. So you know how when I was like lying to Esther and saying, oh, you're staying with me. Mm -hmm. And then she said, no, 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 no. She's staying with me, with yeah. us. Yeah. Don't worry, Esther, I've taken your burden. Mm. That was a bit mad. Like, what? do people see me as a burden, basically? Mm, nah, I don't, I don't think... I, why do I feel like I'm always the weakest link? This started off as fun and games. Obviously, I was just meant to prank Esther and she fell in my trap. But I feel like Reva did take it too far by saying that I'm a burden. Do you know how that can make someone feel? Like, they're unworthy. Imagine I wasn't secure in who I was. I'd literally be crying. And I already feel very, you know, uneasy about being in this house because I'm around Esther, you know, we don't get along. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. <laughs> don't be dumb, this is not kind of a dumb stuff, man. <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> Come here, it's not that deep. Why are you crying? We've been here less than a day. I just want to enjoy myself. I want everyone to be at peace and harmony at least for the first day. And you're upset. <sighs> when they were saying, like... <laughs> no, you know, you know how they said, um... Sorry, I'm bare emotional, man. <sighs> no one wants me to be there. They're all thinking Nunu's got to go. Nah, man, it's not that. It's not that. I think, do you know what it is, yeah? I think because of whatever's gone on with all of you lot, um, that's how it might seem to you. But remember, I spoke to you earlier on about communication, innit? Um, I just think that there's just, I don't know what it is, whether it's tension or whatever. I don't know what it is, but. My biggest worry is not even Esther. That's the mad thing. People what? think that, oh, because me and Esther are beefing, I don't worry about the, my enemies because I know they're in my place with them. I worry about the people that show me that they're my friend, but tell my, their backs against me. Okay. That's who I worry about. I don't worry about Esther. Esther's been an enemy from day and she's been consistent. I just feel like you, you lot can find a, a middle ground where you can banter without like, making things serious because it just seems like, think about it, if, it, if that was anyone else, if that was like me and B Money, 
it would have just been a ha ha situation and then people would just let it go in it. But it seems that like whatever comes up between like some of the girls, it just gets taken. This is the first time I'm meeting everyone since yeah. reunion. Right. I haven't even, and the mad thing is, everyone's acting like, oh, everything's just normal. Right, but eight months ago, we were all fighting each other and now everything's just normal. Hi. No, it's true, but I'm They're friendly, like, which is not a bad thing, but I'm scared. The whole thing about like, oh, like I'm, I'm, your, I'm your roommate and stuff like that, that's banter. So obviously, like, I know she was like, oh, like I'm not sharing or whatever, but. Like, I don't know if it, I'm being insecure, but sometimes I look at everyone like, if they said, kick one person out, nine out of 10 people say Nunu. I might not agree with like your, like, your views and stuff, but I don't think that that's it's, it's something that should affect like someone's interpersonal relationship. Like, yeah, but do you know what? I feel so scared. I don't even want to be the first up to, to initiate that. Because I feel like what's happened in the past is like a reminder to me that mm. things can always go left. Because we're going to be here for a little while, so... I'm not interested in trying to make friends with Esther because I already know where things are with her. So you want to be civil though, at least. Oh, yeah. Like, now that I'm staying in a room with Riva, I mean, it's inevitable. I may as well get along with her. Just try it. I know you don't like to approach these things, but just try it. Like. I just don't want to get burnt because I'm so sensitive. Nah, you won't. You know, you won't. I like. know why I'm even crying right now. Like, why am I so emotional? I don't know. Like, but you, you look all cool in your individual selves, man. Just, just have a chat and then and see what I'm going on. I'm trying to be as open-minded as possible. I'm hoping that obviously I can fix some of the relationships that have fall, fallen. But at the same time, I'm not too bothered. Like, people need to be open to me as well. If they're not really receptive and willing to you know, get to know me, then I don't feel like I need to force it. But at the same time, I know it will be in my best interest to get along with everyone since we're living with each other. It's a whole completely different experience now. I might have a difficult journey in this house, to be honest. It might be very difficult. Esther, Reva and Chioma are in the kitchen having a conversation about, you guessed it, Nunu. I must have had a heart attack thinking I was... have a heart attack. I saw it, she was panicking. Do you know what it was? I almost cried. It's not, I'm not going to say I dislike her, but we're not in a good space for me to be in the same bed. Because I went to the room first and I saw the room. Oh, you knew what you were going to be doing. And it's not like... You, I've been upstairs, all the rooms are separate. You know, it's different if the rooms or the beds are separate, but when you're sharing a bed with someone that intimate, we're in a double bed together, nah, I was going to... Think, I think the issue is even like sharing a room with her, period. That yeah, that, all that, the, that would you know, the past you lot have had in the first place, now the bed is literally taking a piss. Like, how you going to do skin, skin, something yeah. like that? You know what I mean? And as well as that, we haven't rectified our past issues. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. almost being thrown in a deep end without rectifying our issues. And then whether we like to admit it, there is friction between us. For me to now go into bed and share my personal space. And plus right now in the, in the scenario that we're in, our room is almost like our haven. Yeah. Do you understand? It's like a so retreat. So it's a retreat. So from all the drama that we, we have, gonna go we're, to we're going to go back to our room to kind of collect our thoughts, get our mindset back together, reset for the yeah. morning. No, 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 I'm not about to share with someone that like, I'm not fucking with like that. Yeah. I think people are having a problem sharing with Nunu because there's just been so many issues with Nunu and so many people. What you're having to share with Nunu is something you don't usually want to even share with anyone, not even bedroom sometimes, you get me, or all your brother or sister. You don't share with get along. No, nah, but you yeah, know, but it's... She's sharing with you, isn't funny, it? Funny, yeah, sharing with me, sharing the same bed. We've got double bed, we've got single. Um, I'm in the double bed with her, but... With her? With Nunu, yeah. But why so, with Nunu? Because the other girl is Sinead, new, isn't it? And yeah, Sinead's new, isn't it? So... Kind of give us her own space for the first To be night. honest, no, I'll, to be the, I'll be totally real with you. The reason why Sinead's got it, because when I walked in, her bags were by the single bed, and that's a message in itself, and yeah. I'm not going to intrude on that. And okay, she's right, okay, she came there. She obviously got there first and mm. claimed her spot. Mm. But then obviously later on, she can rotate. I'm not really bothered about the rotating stuff, but... Mm. So, you, like, so you don't mind I don't, sharing... The same bed. I'm talking about rooms. Isn't yeah. It? You lot are gonna be, and I don't know because I, you know, I sleep naked. So yeah. Depends I, on how I, you sleep. I tend to. You're gonna be sleeping I, naked, perhaps yeah. with Nunu. I tend to sleep naked as well, or, yeah, so or I. I um, bottomless. To sleep in the same bed where your bomb bomb is rubbing bomb bomb. You know, your breast is, you know, hot breath. It's. Too much of, you know, in my personal space, so I can understand where they come from. Funny enough, before I was coming, I was oh. like, look, I just kind of need to, yeah, just start afresh. New I know there's certain people, da, 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 you know what I mean? But let me just go with neutral. Yeah. Not, I wasn't going on no bed friend thing, just neutral. Yeah. And look at the case I ended up in. Imagine if I swore on some aggy thing da, da, and ended up not only having to share the room, but the, the same, same bed. bed. Like, do you yeah, know, that would have been very detrimental. Boy, I ain't gonna lie. I think I picked the short straw in this case. Like, imagine the chances of me sharing not only a bedroom, but a bed with Nunu after everything we've been through, like, this couldn't be any shorter.
but we'll see how it goes. I think me and Nunu's issues are a bit deeper. Mm. We both know we don't fuck together, yeah. so let's not pretend. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm not here with a fakery. Let's be real, open, open to, to what? I think, with, especially with you, because I understand that everything that's gone on in the past and whatnot, and even till present, basically, still happening today. Um, like, are you open to forgiving her? I'm open. If she was Do you know, like a genuine God, I'm in such a positive space where I've elevated so much mm. and I've done so well that. For me to harbour and hold on to things would be wrong of me and it wouldn't be Christian like because I do classify myself as a Christian but for me to say that how I'm going to become a buddy no but I'm willing to forgive and move past it at the back of my mind I keep remembering what my mum told me peace harmony be smart don't be dull so I'm trying my hardest to just compose myself at the same time it's been a year and I also want to know what kind of energy she's coming with because she might have come with, bitch, I don't fuck with you, or bitch, you know, I'm apologising for the shit I did. So I'm just like fixing myself something to drink and I overhear Esther and Choma talking about whatever they're talking to and then they're kind of just ganging up on uh, Nunu. To me, it seemed like bullying. And where I'm from, we don't fuck with bullies. I mean, come on, man, like... I think I watched this now, two seasons in, everyone's still jumping on the same thing. Listen, it's a common denominator, man. Pick something else. Today's task is the spelling bee. The housemates will be split into two teams, boys and girls, in which they will have to correctly spell a number of words in increasing difficulty. But what they don't know is they'll be playing for seats in tonight's debate. With a normal back chat discussion, it's normally five girls and five guys, right? But obviously there's six girls here, so we need to eliminate one female. Mm. And in order to do so, I need you guys to play a little game of spelling bee. So it's going to be girls versus boys. So I need the girls to come over to the, say, what, the seat over here. I need the guys over there. Can I just eliminate myself on the drum? Deep loss in blue studio. Hey. 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 <laughs> All right. Why is Esther pushing me? Like, I don't understand. Why does she not want to sit next to Nunu? I don't know if them two have any beef or whatever, but I'm not involved. So there's three rounds in this game, and this game requires you guys to listen very carefully, because I'm going to try and pronounce the words as perfectly as possible. So we're gonna, I'm going to need you guys to pick one person from your group to spell each word, OK? So the first round, guys, I need your close attention. Otherwise, you will lose. Guys. You will lose. Miss Bello is speaking. That's right. Okay, so the first round is about sex. All the words I'm going to say to you guys is orientated around sex. Okay. And sex. Sex. Interesting. Oh, that's a good topic. That is very good. Uh -huh. So one word for the girls and one word for the guys. So the girls are going to go first, and the guys after. So for the girls, the word is fellatio. Jesus. Which means, wait, let me give you a meaning <laughs> for the word. You mean to tell me I'm in this villa for two weeks. We're in the first game and two minutes into it, you're asking me how to spell a head? and I don't even know if I'm gonna get head. You're trying to wind me up. You're playing games with my emotions. I didn't even bring no condoms, fam. Let me give you a meaning of the word so you can have an idea okay. of how to spell it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Spelt with an F for silent okay, Go on, go on. Who's the person? Shioma. Why are you picking me, though? What? Don't talk to her like that. Where'd you go? Who'd you guys pick? I've, me. Oh, okay, go on then. Wait, hold on, wait, we we'll discussed it. There's no discussion. Once you pick one person, that's it. You can't she discuss. She you, you weren't on it. I'm on it. Riva, Riva, we're picking Riva. A few minutes into this team already, and look how mad, like, there's no organisation amongst our skills. And in a way, it's kind of because we probably all haven't really, really gelled together yet. First, um, task that is required for us to work together, you know what I mean? Now we're being asked to come together, is that a bit scary? We nominate Reva to spell this word. <laughs> I think I know it, but... <laughs> F-E-L-A... F-E-L-A... Shio... S-S-F-H. No, it's not S-H, you know. Is a C or a T in there? There's definitely a T in there. You're not allowed to discuss and help your teammates. We're not allowed to help her. Do you need help? You're looking lost. Let me just do the C anyway. F-E-L-A-C-H-I-O. She's wrong. It's spelled F-E-L-L-A-T-I-O. I told you there was a T. I know about that spelling, baby. T so what I got wrong was the two L's. I would never have got two L's. All right, so next round is the boys. The word is coitus, which means what? sexual intercourse. Coitus. Oh, shit. <laughs> Some of us are dile dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> So I need you guys to pick one person. It means having sex. I nominate Gogo to answer this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Quatus. 
C O I T U S. What? Yes. Amen! Yes! And I guessed that. I guessed that. Girls can't smell. All right, moving on to the girls. Thank you guys. Nice. Okay, so for the girls is. Oh. Cunnilingus. 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 All I know is some of these people have real big issues with spelling. Or maybe Wumi just can't hear. I don't know, but. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. The word is cunnilingus. That's not fair. Cunnilingus? Yeah. yeah. I've opted out. Who have you guys chosen? Do you want to go? All right, cool. Cunnilingus, yeah. Cunnilingus. <coughs> <laughs> All right, so um, C U double N I N. Stop. G L I. G. You're laughing at me, yeah? Hey! G, you need Lingus. O O U S. No! How is it spelled then? No. All right, so let me tell you how it's really spelled. C U N N I N I N G U S. I knew it. Yeah, okay. I can't spell the word, so I've been drinking. I'm just having a blast. Like, I'm having a nice time. All right, next, the boys. The word is fornication. Oh, oh me, wow. boom. They get the easy one. Are you serious? Even I can spell that one. I'm dyslexic. F-O-R-N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. -I You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. We didn't nominate him. We didn't nominate him. We didn't nominate him. Fornication. F-O-R-N-I-C-A-T-I-O-N. That's right. That's what I said. That's what he said. But when you said N I, you were wrong. Okay, what's after N? F O R N I C A T I O N. What did I say? That's what he said. That's what he said. That's exactly what I said. Oh, bias. You are bias. How are you going to tell me, head honcho fornicator, that I don't know how to spell fornication? That's my middle name. B F money. F for fornication. God, forgive me. This is about the periodic table. So obviously with these words, you're not going to get a meaning, so you're just going to have to spell the words. So the first word is helium for you guys. Helium. Oh, I can spell it. H -E. Who are you nominating? Nini, look, you look confident. I can spell it, I'm just no, saying. No, no, you've had your chance. You have to wait for a second. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. All right, cool. Go on. H-E. Oh, man. L-L. I-U-M. Sit down, man. Wait, 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 wait. I can't even Never I. After going back and forth as Wumi spits out trickier words, Finally, the boys come out victorious. This means the ladies are in trouble. Come on, man. And you don't need five moms. You know, you have to do this is a massive So the guys have won, congrats, but there is a twist. So the goal of the game was to get the losing team to pick out a girl that's not going to be in the chat today. So you guys pick. I think we should do Chin Chang Wala, like Ruby. What is that? What is Chin Chang Wala? Ching Boom 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 so we throw yeah, points. Yeah, yeah. So right, cool, let's do that. Come, everyone. Come. So the losing person, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, all right, cool. So one, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors. We can't do it all together. No, yeah, you do do it. We have to do it. Pairs, pairs, pairs. No, and then whoever wins, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how you do it. All right, cool. Rock, paper, scissors. Ching, chang, walla. I want to win. You just want it. All right, so I'm out. So that means, who lost? Who lost? Who lost? Yeah, you cut me. I'm I cut her. Cool. So she lost. Who lost? I scissors her and she You lost. So one, two, three. You you three need to play with each other. No. We've already won. Whoever's won, won. You're out. You three yeah, need to so play with us. Out, you three. Nice. So, so, See? So, we both so cut so one new lot. Oh, wait, so you're out. That's so, you, that's out. I'm out. Okay. Right. I won't be in. I hate that game still. Okay, so you're more experienced and you've done it before. I haven't. So, I will forfeit my space for you. Don't say that, man. Yeah. There's so no. many more debates to be winning. We already lost. There's so many more. It's not. It's not a challenge. It's not a challenge. It's not, a, it's not that deep, man. There's so many more debates. Okay, so who have you guys decided is not staying? Esther's leaving. Esther's leaving. All right, so Esther's not going to be in a debate today. I ain't got time to argue with you bitches. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all of y'all. Y'all, y'all can kiss my fake ass, y'all. Yes. Nunu has chosen not to take part in tonight's debate. This means that by default, Esther automatically gets her seat. Right now I'm feeling very emotional because I'm just so overwhelmed by the experience so far. I feel like 
I'm getting flashbacks from the reunion, you know, and it's a bit awkward right now in the house with certain people that I'm not cool with. The reunion didn't go well for me. It was very, very emotional and draining. And I feel like a part of me just was, was gone. So I feel that I'm kind of back in that space now and it's not a nice feeling. And I know it's not in my best interest to do any debate right now. After an interesting arrival from the housemates and surprise entrance from MVP host Wumi Bello, there's more. The cast get ready for the big debate. Day one, as the show format is fully unveiled. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time. And I came to groove. The whole band's here and we came to move. Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes. We're here all night like we got nothing to lose. Coming out the jacket cause we're turning up the heat. I want to see you clapping when you get up out your seat. It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets. One of my little cousins sent me a post about um, Chipmunk. He posted something about... Um, is the Instagram general for new rappers or some bullshit, yeah? I'm thinking, brother, like, all you men have made it. You, you're you a fucking established artist. Why are you watching what's going on on Instagram fucking with uh, rappers that's trying to fucking come up? Because you fuckers, people like you, you don't want to bring no one in the game, innit? So we're going to do, we, us fucking Instagram rappers, yes, we are fucking Instagram rappers, like you fucking said, chipmunk, yeah? You fucking banana fucking face looking nigga. Are you dumb, blood? Come on, bruv. Young Spray fucking dissed you the other day, innit? Why don't you fucking reply to fucking Young Spray instead, bruv, you fucking dick? But I used to have rating for you. I used to love your music. I used to rate for you. But I don't disrespect the thing, innit? Chip said, there's a new genre in town, social media artist. Sick. I love it. Do you think it's right for someone to be classified as an artist after suddenly blowing up through social media? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Where have I heard this not? question before? I think, I think, I think, it, I think it depends, like, though. Like, all laws and that, Because innit? that laws, okay, cool. I wouldn't say she's an artist, but that yeah. Guy, yeah. yeah, he hasn't been getting a lot of clout or whatever. He hasn't gotten recognition. He got no, before oh. that yay thing. But the thing is, he's been making music. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's somebody that's been putting in the work, and all of a sudden, because of social media, he's blown. So yeah, like I, I think, think yeah, that was well deserved. Yeah, yeah. Well deserved. same way with rap man. If they bust off social media, so viral, rather than. Yeah, if they've gone viral, I'm guessing is what they're It's what basically they're saying, do you think it's right for somebody to be classified as an artist after blowing up through social media? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think What's so. put them out there is their music, if so... If you've got a body of work... Yeah, then like, yes. I think Ye has blown because he can sing and obviously he made a song off of a track that, that was song well is not known. Bang, have, you heard, have you heard that even? <laughs> can I just say this? We have to understand that the realm of music has changed dramatically since Chip was coming up. So when Chip was coming up, it wasn't the, the maybe not necessarily the Twitters and, and whatever, because that wasn't a platform that was available to him at that time. Yeah. I don't know, like, obviously Chip has been in the game for a long time uh, and he, he's not afraid to, like, comment on the state of the game. And he has every right to, he's one of the pioneers, if you wish, of, a, of, our, of our generation. But, but it's a different time. In his time, he had to go on get radio, he had to do clashes, he had to do sets. This day and age, you can get on, a, on, a, on your phone, make a video and blow. Game is the game, it is what it is. I don't think Chip is being salty. Ha-ha. In modern day, what we have right now, for us to connect, as an artist myself, for us to connect to multiple thousands of people, for us to connect to people all across the world, that's what social media is there for, to expose things. Now, I think what he's talking about is the people, and I, I don't really want to address this situation. It's a recent one. Um, like Fraud Bay, for example. <clears throat> Bro he day. put out a track. No, no, no. Now, he put out a track, and Bro after, <laughs> obviously, after obviously nah, taking that girl's funny, money, like... and he was, he would, like, the following day after dropping, like, a little snippet, he was in BBC One Extra. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, 
if I'm listening to that question, I would say that's what is not fair. Yeah. Because there are people out here that have been putting in work who are not doing criminal activities. Not, that, hold on. Why does it mean it's hold not on. fair, though? It's all about class. It's not yeah. fair because, hold on, it's not fair because you are not getting in there because of your work rate. Essentially, what you're doing is mocking somebody that you have done something criminal to. You were, that's you, in that example. Yeah. Though. No, no, no. But that no. So but I'm using that as an example as to why it, it's right, an example of it being on. No, but I'm saying out of all the types of artists that we can say it's unfair for social media to give them a platform. That is when I'm finished. That is one of the ones. <laughs> that's one of the ones that I would say it's if unfair. I'm yeah, it's unfair because you're not doing music because of the love. Your music is literally to mock somebody that you have already done something <laughs> criminal to. I'm not a fan of the fact that Fraud Bay was interviewed on BBC. I think it's an insult um, to all the hardworking musicians out there that are submitting their music to these DJs that are trying to have access, that are trying to build um, a, a, an actual career um, based on their talent, based on hard work, to be overshadowed and overlooked by someone who's literally a criminal. <laughs> Social media is so big now that you can use it as a platform to put yourself out there and elevate and blow from it. So I do get there's other artists who have put themselves out there and they've put in the work and they haven't been recognised. But now because of social media, we're able to use that platform to, to our advantage where, you know, you could put out a song that is essentially not as great as, as another, another artist, but because of the fact that it's catchy, because of the fact that you've got social media, because people have used ways and memes to make it bigger than what it is, it can blow, do you know what I mean? So I feel like things have changed. I think it's really, really unfair on real artists, and I'm gonna use the word real artists because I'm talking about artists that wanna take their music, ser that want their music to be taken serious, that actually graft and want a career from their music, um, that they have kind of don't get the recognition that they deserve, but yet people that are just making songs for the sake of making songs that don't really want to be artists. For example, Shucky on the boot as well, whatever that song is, yeah? Like that girl, yeah, for example. She's not really an artist. You wouldn't classify as an artist. She made a little song and it blew. Are we essentially seeing a difference in the way that music is viewed? Because I think, yeah. The reason why I was saying that music is you, you gave an example and I, I agree with the example you're giving, but the flip side to that, that's a very specific scenario. If you look at Laws, if you look at Michael Dapper, if you look at people that have, so for example, Michael Dapper is not really an artist. Yeah, well, that's what I was gonna say, would you but classify at the, him as at an the artist? Same time, at the same time, he's very good at what Did. he does. Yeah. And because of his, uh, his music, you've now seen this whole Everything. uplifting of everything so, Lucas, that he does would, do. Lucas, would you classify Michael Dapper as an artist? No. no so what's an artist but then? Because that's, that's what the question is saying. So I would artist? say then, that on, he's sorry, a me, talent. Me, me. I wouldn't say that he's an artist. I, I would say that he was a talent. I say that he got very lucky and I feel like the, the difference. Could no, 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 he make a song like that and bang again? I feel like to this question, I feel like it goes, obviously there's both sides. So I feel like, for instance, the example that you just gave, I wouldn't call him an artist. No, I wouldn't because what I think an artist is growing up on and Aaliyah and R. Kelly and all these other types of people know he's not an artist. Is he an artist of 2018 and uh, uh, like what social media thinks an artist is? Okay, well then maybe. So it depends what you're relating it to. But for me, I would say he's a talent. I would say he's a talent. No, I'm saying, you, you didn't ask me to ask you. Like, one, one second, yeah. one second. What, so then if, if, if the likes of Michael Dapper and people who've come up in that spectrum are not yeah. an artist, what would you classify as the traditional artist, like what is an artist? Okay, like, say Leo? for instance, so what the traditional no, but I'm artist? I'm saying, like, what, how, so how would we define that? How, like chipmunks and artists. No, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm no, not saying give me examples. Mean. I'm saying, how would we now define? So in, we my, know... in my opinion, through social media, how I would differentiate talent to artists is a talent, I would say, is obviously someone that could be talented in multiple genres. Okay. And whether they put out a catchy song or a meme or whatever it is, they blow through that. But they show when they've blown that they have other talents but that, is that not an help artist? them to get there. But what yeah, I think is hard. an artist, no. But what I would call an artist is someone that is generally naturally or gift, like naturally talented, gifted, or they've worked on no. their talent. Hold on. As either a singer, a rapper, or something musically, and they're using social media to either put out their songs, um, get more promotion, obviously gain publicity, basically push themselves. And then obviously through social media, if what they're doing does work, then they blow from it. And because they are, I would say, a talent in singing or rapping or making music or producing or whatever it is, they would be an artist. Because they was already an artist. Is it not an okay, watch it, watch yeah, this, watch to this. produce a tune like Man's Not Hot? Is it not an art form to flip the whole Ashako on the beat? 
To us, like you said, growing no, up. No, no, but that's no, 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 let me finish. Can me. I just... To us, like if you're a proper music person, you like somebody that's built his craft, you know, put in the work and then got to a place, the chipmunks, rap man, rap man uh, Lethal B, Dizzy Rascal, these Those people are, are putting artists. bodies of works. But then you're looking, we're, we're living in different times. So someone like Loz changed uh, uh, or remixed like a song. Name, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Remix a song. You're now seeing that that is an, a, a, that's a talent in itself, being able to make a song go viral. But can she do? Can she do two, two or three of that? Let me say this. Hold Growing this up, hold on, sorry. quick. How many opinion. people can remix a Yay tune and do it the way that Osh guy did? I just, hold on, wait. I let think me, we're discrediting the this. fact that people on, quickly, can quickly, fix quickly, stuff. quickly. Man's not hot. Brilliant targeting. These are two songs. Like, how can he not be an artist? He's not a musician. He's not a musician in the sense that he hasn't got a body of work in terms of musically, but he's an artist. This even started to piss me off how they're trying to differentiate the people that produce art form and say they're not artists because they have one hit wonders. I'm not being funny. You go and produce your one hit wonder and let's see you for your 15 minutes, please. Human beings survive by adaptation, mm -hmm. first of all, yeah. And I feel like we get stuck in this, in this place where it should be like this. Um, and if it's not like this, then we, we can't resonate with it. But Social media, internet has moved things along so much. Um, and there are artists that fit into both bodies that are left in, in some middle ground. I'll give you an example, EO. Um, I don't know how much of you know about him, but he started off as a, um, as a doing YouTube jokes. He used to do YouTube videos um, for like young people. He then made German, it blew. So now he's considered a fully fledged artist. But what has but, he done but, since German? He's got another song. He's got another song, let me finish, let me finish. But the point I'm trying to make is, Based on, on, on what you and he said, he's technically a talent, but for, for all intents and purposes, he's, 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 I think it's a personal opinion about whether you want to accept how the person got to where they got in music industry, yeah. but it doesn't not make them art artists because, like I said, EO has sold more records than a lot of artists in the UK. He's now got two tunes and has proven that he can do that. Same with Michael Dapper. Um, the losses in that, I don't know, because for me, I guess they've, they've got to do it a couple of times to see, but I feel like, I feel like, to finish my point, to finish my point, to finish my point, I feel like even if you are a talent, and, and you express an interest or you, you show that you can do music and you can produce songs that, are, that people can vibe to, then you have to be able to consider an artist in this day and age because the artistry has come so far from you just do music and that's all you're allowed to do. It's evident, yeah, that success and the majority of movement, if it's not associated with a level of graph, then it is described as undeserved or lucky. That's what we tend to fall into that all the time. Someone puts a tune on social media and it blows. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, Chips days were different. Maybe Chips days, he has to hit road and give out CDs, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, it's the same method. You're using social to reach out or you're going on road, yeah? Mm -hmm. But because the road one is more, you know what I mean, and he's got a story too and whatever, there's a graft, you've put together something and you've put in that effort. This one, you've slapped on something, it's blown. You're lucky. It's like it's fraud. Unfair. It's like deets and, sh but, and trapping. And the other side to that is, you guys, especially us, us here, whether we're going to describe ourselves as artists or whatever, we know how social media is. It's another game of jealousy, envy. It's very dark. It's got a dark side. Yeah, yeah. So whenever success is gained in a way that people we describe as unlucky or undeserved because it was fast or drastic or overnight... You know what, yeah? Everything just seems to be based on, you know what I mean, these characteristics like time and how they got it and stuff like that. But, bro, this stuff is taking place, whether you accept it or not. You get me? Because you accepted it or you didn't accept it. It's taking place. You've seen it. And that's why we're discussing it. Chipmunk's had his time. He's done his shining. He's back on ends now. He's no more the star boy, you know, so he's angry. He's tweeting. In my opinion, I think it was a bit salty. Reason I say it's a bit salty, let's face it, Chip, the time has come and gone. He was at the top once upon a time ago. You're still there, you're still mixing it, throwing a bit of punches, but let's face it, man, the comment wasn't needed. Do you not feel like that's uh, predominantly for us lot? So if you what look at, us lot? when I say like us lot, when you look at like white people, for example, yeah, not every bit of success is what we would class as deserving. Some people just have a knack for something. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to actually put a graft in to something. 
to actually blow off something. So you know where we come through hardship? More time on our perceptions are built on, okay, well, you have to put in to get out. Yeah. Sometimes, and the reality of this world is, you don't always put in to get out. I don't think it's so a you have certain artists in 2018 yeah. who are now oh, artists wait, because wait, wait, wait. they've just got, they, they, they've got the benefits of whatever it is because, that they've done. Oh, wait, can I, now, we can say that's luck. We can say that's um, chance. But in this day and age, when it's so consistent that there's so many people doing things like that, is it luck or is it actually? Is it hold on? Let me just finish that. I think it's the fault of social media. I really like Michael Dapper, but I do feel like he's making a mockery of the whole. What? Yeah, because he's not. Honestly speaking, he's not a musician. I don't see him as an artist. Can I say something? Because and a lot of these people are internet sensations, right? And the way we view things. One hit wonders. Yeah, man. Whatever, whatever you want to say. Whatever you want to say, man. They don't. They're not musicians. They're not artists. I'm not saying Michael Dapper. They're making something that's catchy and. I'm falling like, for I'm it, not, I'm buying into it, and giving them money. I'm, I'm not. I'm, you know, I'm not saying that Michael Dapper is a one-hit wonder. I'm just saying, in 2018, the music that is produced and put out, yeah, I feel like it is discrediting. It's Literally. discrediting to real artists who have put in work, who have drafted. What does that mean? To to you. What does that mean? You're taking it personal. I'm not saying that cool, whatever. They've not worked those um talents. I'm gonna classify them as talents. Yeah, yeah. haven't you know been praying for their 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 glow up. Or or whatever they are, oh, they rise. Like you're forgetting, some of these artists haven't gone and. But who, 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 who is to blame? Some of them, some of these artists haven't. What would you call Will Smith? Some of these artists haven't even sourced a beat. What would you call Will Smith? Some of them have just all they've done is just jumped on somebody what would you else's call LL track. Cool and you know, shackled on the beat as well. Like you know what I mean? That's not. Really yeah, but that's not an easy thing to do. If it was that simple, if it was that simple, every artist. Hear what I'm saying? Someone said said it's about how you look at it, and it's about your perception on that particular person. Because if it was that simple, yeah. Yeah. People are like, oh, yes, but easy. If it was Everybody that simple, did. them artists that you're saying that were grinding would have found a way to use that concept. Maybe not, maybe not the gimmick, but that concept of, all right, cool, yeah. I Michael finds something that pops. It's not, that's not. Okay, and first of all, let's say this. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Let me finish the point. I don't think so. Can you let me finish the point? Can you let me finish the point? I'm putting in the hard work. I'll give you a prime example. I'll pop a thing in In this day and age, let me finish the point. Let me finish the point. I'm not looking for lyrically talented people. I'm just deserved that. And that's what I'm saying. He's worked up. Him as an let me the he, I'm trying he's to make. talented and he's come out in the And he deserves that. He deserves that. He's, he's, that. he's, he's not a one-hit okay. wonder. So if you're deserving of it and you're a proper eyes, you will come through the same way. Okay, I would wait, just like to wait, say... Wait, quickly, quickly, quickly. It's a quick point, yeah? This is what I'm saying about adaptation. You had, like, five quick points. No, Speech, man. Quick point. This is what bad chat's about. The truth is, this is a dunya, it's a favela. We're in the jungle, straight. When you want to talk, make your voice be heard. If people are not silent, earn your respect. Period. People can mumble on the beat and, and blow, yeah? That's my personal opinion. Just because you don't like what somebody's doing doesn't don't make them not that, a real yeah. ass. And the reason I say that yes. is because record labels are signing these people. The people who are moguls of the industry, who understand how the industry works, are putting money behind these people so they understand the worth behind that artist. Okay. Whether or not you consider them an artist no, or not, doesn't make no sense. Hold on. They're signing them. See, They're putting money behind them. No, let me go to straight to that That's where we are. That's where music is right now. This is the issue. But that's where we are. But that is the issue. Wait. There is, it's, I've got something to say that's direct to, to Gogo's point, and it, it kind of links back to what Chip is saying. Uh, Reva, um, you, you, you brought up a dichotomy. You're talking about um, people who deserves fame and, or people who deserve success or, or whatever. The reality of the situation, and I think Chip's, uh, Chip's irritation is, and it goes back to what Esther said, there are people out here that worked on their, their spitting Craft. technique. Hold on, let me finish. You look scrap that. Finished. Some people no, no, have no, got wait, hold fucked on, up lives when they make that let one tune. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, no, the no. prayer that let they've been asked for. Don't come God and tell me this. Is. Listen, now, what the fuck let do you know about manage. people's past? Who, that's who you don't judge that. another person. You can't artistry. be the judge of that, man. If I make one tune... I just don't get it. All I want is for us to be happy for one another. That's basically what I'm saying. If they get it quick, if they get it fast, that's even more of a reason to be happy. Why do we want to see blood, sweat and tears before it's justifiable, before they deserve it? Why? You might have to struggle or you can get lucky. And that option is now becoming available to us with what we have. Let's start taking it 
And the first step is to congratulate your brother or your sister that has done it and then pray for the best that it comes on to you. My irritation is that you're dashing around the word artist very loosely, very loosely. You wouldn't call any old whack a brain surgeon. You wouldn't, hold on, you yeah, wouldn't call true. anyone that's in a gown a brain what? surgeon. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me finish. You would not call any old whack you see in a hospital well, in a different. gown a that's brain different. surgeon. It's different. You wouldn't. It's different. And, and in it's different. time, it's no, different. let me tell you why it's not no, different. It's different. Let me tell you no, why it's, it's not different. But you have to qualify to be a musician, no, to no. be an artist. No, no. Of course you do. You know what? Bro, all of that work, all of that work that Michael Jackson, that all of these people put in, what do you mean it's not qualification? Okay, do you know what certifies you? Bro, you guys, you guys, are using Adrian, the word artist Adrian, very loosely. Adrian. The thing that irritates me the most about this discussion is the fact that people act as if that musicians and artists and people who have worked their lives to perfect their craft, to develop their craft, we almost look at it as, as still this, this kind of thing that you don't really have to work for. The reason why I'm making a comparison between the doctor is because both of these are skills that you have to develop and people spend their entire lives training and developing. It's an insult to just name somebody a musician or a, or an artist based off an uh, auto-tuned remix that they just dashed on social media like. And one thing, one quick, one quick thing back to the, the label situations that you're talking about. Because clearly you guys really don't understand the nature of the UK music okay, educate, scene. Educate. All right, cool. Yeah. First and foremost, the music scene, it does not make money anymore, right? So so these quick, bro, go on, go on, bro, go on, go on, go on. I've got a degree in music, so I don't even need to, I don't need you to tick this or to exit. I know what I'm talking about. Back in the day, it was CD sales. When CD sales went out, it went to obviously MP3 sales. Now we are on streaming. Streaming is a very watery movie yeah. platform where it is not a certain- You've got tools and bookings, it, bro. Up. There's money in the industry. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm it depends on where you are. Called, listen, let me finish. A lot of these labels who called, call their money came from CD sales and record sales. It's not coming from streaming because streaming is, hold on. So what they do, what they do, what they do is they jump on the quickest thing to make the quickest amount of money. They are not investing in the longevity. That's what they do. Let him speak, let him speak. Let him speak. That doesn't make you an artist. That's not long though. You have to chop it up. Cool. That doesn't yeah, make you an you artist. Wanna, that's what you want Because to they're not putting money into you for you to do a whole album. Yeah, they're not sorry, working yeah, on you to do a whole game. project. And just they're not add, working just on you to, to have a five, said, 10, 15 year career. Because they're not making surgeon, that money. Yeah. That's an artist. That you can't put out one surgeon. track, get a million streams, and suddenly you're, you're, you're equated but to you Beyonce know what and these people who spent their whole life to work. Why do we want to equate to Beyonce? We want to be better than Beyonce. We can do that for one track. They can't do that for one track. They don't get the opportunity to be better than Beyonce, which is what makes let him, he's gonna run out of gas. Let him run out of gas. That's what you Let Mark speak. Go Last come, I don't want to shout over anybody. It's simple. Listen, Esther, you said something about Michael Dapper, yeah? Alpha Melting. For me, right. it's not even an Alpha Melting. I call Michael Dapper an artist. You classify him as an You know why? Because think about his graft and what he does. That's an art on its own. Yeah? yeah? Making someone laugh is an art. Yeah. Very right? difficult one. Yeah, Very yeah, difficult. Yeah, yeah. Listen, no, now, not difficult. everybody finds him funny. Yeah, that's not okay, but I didn't we say all know what we're talking about person. when I'm talking about yeah. artists. But I would Where's this question is directed at music. Wait, wait, listen. Okay, let's start. I was yeah. trying to get to my point. Well, look, listen, I, I was trying to get to my point. Let me get to my point. If you're going to give Esther, a definition of artist, you do hair, right? Yeah, I Would do you hair, classify? makeup. You do hair, makeup, and so on. Yeah. So that's part of the arts, right? Yeah. So yeah. can I classify you as an artist? No. Yes. Yes, yes I can. Yes. No, that's creative. But then creativity is an yes. art. Yes. So yes. therefore, you're an artist. Yeah, yeah, he has so a point. So you're an artist. Does Listen, I'm an artistic person. Yeah? I can write. I don't have to be able to sing. So a footballer's an artist. Of course, because he's an art. Oh, whatever. It's an art. No. Wait. This question is talking about music. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think these kind of people are artists. It doesn't say music only. It doesn't so say if music gonna, only. If you're going to call them artists because of what they do, what the they only do thing well, that, no, right, cool. the only one second. Read the question one more time. Read the question one more time. Um, Read the question one more time. Everybody in the world is talking about Hold on, Choma. Read the question. Yes, yes. Is that what? Is that an argument? As long as you do it, artists.
Hey, the only the only music connotation on that question. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, the, only, the, the only music connotation hold on, hold on, on that on. question the is question. Chipmunk's read, name. Read the question one more time. The only music Chip, connotation is me, Chipmunk's name. It's, it's, it's not, not about music. Lot, about it's about the, the, the way the brain is so manipulated because chip is used, we, art is straight away music. music. Anything okay, that you on. create, Riva, be real anything with that you create as a creative, the end product is your art. You see art. what I want to say? That's yeah? your art. Product. So then we now call them yeah. artists. Yeah, yeah you, you come see, if you want to. Cool, cool. You see what? Because hold a hold footballer, on. that's the definition of his creativity, his skill. Whether that's a skill or art, whatever. For the purpose of the question, for the purpose of the question, we should probably keep it to music. No. I think Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Did Andy Cole not make a track? Did yes, it not track? Did it track. not track? But it was, because it was catchy or whatever. Catchy the way. John Barnes. John Barnes, a footballer, yeah. yeah? Has nothing to do with music, yeah? yeah? He, he done a track, right? Okay. It was the England anthem, right? It went to the World Cup, it charted, it made money. Okay. Can I just is that not us? You know what? Well, do you know what it is? If they're popular say faces. Is that, that what Michael Duffer did? They, 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 they are popular faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, is well, that what Michael Duffer did? Someone yeah. can do the same thing Michael Duffer did. I'm not going there. I agree with you, but this is why I agree with you. How many songs do you have to make? How many songs do you have to make to be classified as an artist? Right, okay. Can I just say Sam has been rapping for time. When he made Power, what did we not give him name of director? We gave him to him. We didn't say, Ra, you're not that. Because you've been doing music for 10 years. Yes. This is just frustrating me because who are you? Who is anyone? You get me to determine someone's walk. I don't get it. So what? So what if they made it this way, that way, or that way? So what? You get me? Especially if there's no violence involved, there's no disrespect involved, there's no violations. All you're being asked to do, shut your mouth or support. Simple. They have not worked. They have not worked. They have not put in the work. And I'm not saying that they don't deserve to blow because I, I genuinely believe that whatever God has put on this planet is for you and you'll get it irrespective of what I think. How can you compare somebody who, who doesn't put any effort into their, 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 their craft and their work and they don't sit there and they don't write, they don't, they don't produce, they don't learn the musicality, they don't learn these things. How can you compare them to people whose, whose blood, sweat and tears have gone into this? I, I, don't, I just don't get it. Like, I don't I get it. I classify Rita Ora as an artist. She's put, she's been a, she's a musician. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't, I can't say. But we don't what know I'm trying to say is that, story. what we're trying to say, let me finish, what I'm trying to say is that I think, yeah, the word artist, like Adrian said, is, is used very loosely. There's a big difference between being a music, like an artist, and then being a creative, or being a talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, that's There's a difference between a musician because, and because, and a because football. Football. Michael Dapper is not just an artist, he's also an, an, a comedian. Do you understand? Now you've got specific. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? He's really also a comedian. Michael he's Dapper also, is, he's, no, but you know why? Because we can, we, can, we can put him in different genres. Okay. He's, he's made music, Will Smith, he's a comedian. Eddie Murphy, they've all done the same okay. thing. LL Cool J. And Eddie Murphy I totally can sing. agree with you and everything you just sing. said. But do you know what I think? Hold on, I think a title is a title, right? It's like what you were saying. People get titles for what they're doing and for what they've done. You can't just call any Tom, Dick and Harry a, um, um, a, a, a journalist or, or a filmmaker. A lot of guys play football on a Saturday, right? With their friends, right? You not play today, football. Are you a footballer? Are you yes, that yes, yes, he is. But you're not a footballer. Not. They not, babe. No, they're not. He is oh, wait, a hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The difference between a rapper and an artist is not that much different, but uh, a rapper is somebody who literally is sticking to one style they're rapping that's what they do all they do is rap that's what they identify as a rapper can be an artist an artist is somebody who might want to work with different mediums um you know an artist today might use watercolor tomorrow they might use pencil or just fine pen and the same thing applies to music it's it's you got to be you're fluid in fact some people will argue say that an artist or a musician is somebody who plays instruments if a girl on instagram posts a whole bunch of pictures and tells me she's a model who am I to question her? I just want to say, yeah, listening to what everybody's saying, I feel everyone obviously has... <laughs> yeah, I heard it. No, everyone's saying things that I can relate to and understand, but I think we're missing the point. I don't think anyone's turning around saying that no one's artist. Obviously, if you that's have, if you are, exactly. if you are, a, yeah, if you are a creative and you have a talent and you're good at it, that's your artistry, I understand. But how I interpreted this question was by Chipmunk saying, I think it's sick that people are coming up through social media and obviously they're the blowing through social media. Industry. Yeah, that's, that's how I. So then you know what? How then did he let me finish? Michael Dapper shouldn't be. Can you just let me finish? 
and they're blown through social media. Is it right to give them the title of an artist in this day and age or just and overall? Here's why I disagree. If someone's been grinding and it doesn't matter whether they've been doing it for five seconds or two minutes, whatever it is, if they're putting their heart and soul into something and they blow, congratulations to you, you deserve everything, right? But to me, I see it as talent and artist. For me to classify as someone, in my artists. opinion, I, no, as an artist, Genuine's an artist, Rita Ora is an artist, yeah. Pixie Lock's an artist, why? Beyonce. Why? 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 Because, why? You just keep telling okay, okay, you you why. 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 When Chipmunk was doing chill, artistry, chill, chill, I didn't know him as an artist. I Man was picking it. bull. Now he's an artist. But we've grown up seeing him through this Who art Chipmunk? form. Yes, through this art form where it was grind. It was guys spitting on the set. There was dub sets. There was, there was things that it's people... Do you know what I'm saying? Now it's social media. You can do you anything. Can, do a challenge. can you answer this question specifically yeah. for me, please? Yeah. Just, just this question, because you don't keep... You, let, you don't let, keep let talking money talk, man. You keep talking... Drop it, go, go, man. It's not value with you, man. You, you, you might not talking about Beyonce, like we know what the fuck Beyonce has been through or where Beyonce has come from to be her, an artist. Why must we know the artist's history or where they've come from to classify them as an artist? Sorry, just a quick response. Just a quick response. That is what you guys are determining on. You're saying that if they do it quick, then it's not... They don't deserve it. And if they're still strained out, then they're an artist. No, wait, hold on. Let me tell you the difference between Beyonce, I don't know, Trey Songz, Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. Dapper. You can't do that. Hold on, let me tell you the difference. If you tell me to do what these Beyonce, Trey songs, and whatever are doing, I can't do it. You can't do what Michael Dapper did. Tell me, I can't do it because I can't sing, I can't do it. I don't know music. Hold on. If you ask me to do what Michael Dapper did, bloody, what's his song? You can't do it, don't do it. The thing is, I can do it. The only way can you do that. The only reason as to why it will not blow is because I am not him. No, that's not right. You know why? Can I say something else? You know why? Shaq is one of I just did it. Okay, I just did it. Hold on. Hold on. Show me. Show me. The only reason why it's not. I can sit in my shower and start singing Beyonce. Just because here's, I can sing Beyonce doesn't mean I can blow like Beyonce. No, but what I'm saying is that there is a difference between. And they're still in there. Shaq. There were artists. Shall I tell you why this is good with you? This is why this is good with you. This is why this is good with you. It's not even about the same level. They've got different talents. They're artists. They're talents. And I think we all know that Michael Dapper is not a musician. He, him himself, he knows that. Let's be real. He's a comedian, he's a businessman. That whole um, skin, the tingle scrap came from fire in the booth. It, it was a joke, it was a freestyle, do you know what I mean? And it blew because he's Michael Dapper, because we like him, because it is funny. And that's how we bought into it. Not that the lyrics are good and you know, it makes sense. No, that song is a joke, but it bangs. And what the hell is Shaq, that breath, like, I'm so sorry, babes, you're not a musician, sorry. Yeah, you know, get your coins get booked, do your thing, but bottom line is, you are not a musician. You're not an artist. You are laws that shackled on the beat. Do you classify Michael Tapp as a, a rapper? No, you no, said rapper. No. Don't change the question. No, no okay. Is he an is artist? He a, no, yes. I'm asking All right. you. Is he a rapper? Can no. he rap? Can he rap? Michael no, Dapper, okay, okay. okay. Can he rap? Do you not think he can rap, yeah? He can rap, yeah? Okay. Yes or no? Can he rap? He can. He, he can. Rap, yeah? No, Michael Dapper. He performs on stage. Yeah. He, he, he sells out souls. Right, cool, cool. He sells out souls. So explain what is it that he does. So Michael Dapper can rap. Yeah, he's a rapper. He's an artist. Okay, Michael Dapper can rap. Chipmunk can rap to me. Can I ask you the question? Yeah. Michael Dapper. He's MC. But Chipmunk's been rapping before you not even liked music yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You lot have jumped in six sections. Nobody yeah, was back yeah. in this three years ago. To answer but your question. But we all question, have to talk about the music scene. To, to answer you your question. You lot weren't there from the inception. What's going on, bro? To answer your, to answer your question. A lot of people weren't there uh, is this what when we're British doing? music uh, was coming boom. up. So, yeah, Nobody pushed yeah, it. Nobody liked it. Is this what we're doing? Now all of a sudden we know about music. You weren't on this UK wave musically four or five years ago. You didn't like the music. You didn't back it. You didn't support it. You didn't push it. Now all of a sudden, these are your new Hollywood superstars. How? Where? From where? These people have put in work for a long, 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 long period of time. Ghetto, Bashi, Chip, Kano, Wiley, Skepta, Dizzy. These men were not getting no love. Sneak World, they were getting no love. They were just pushing boundaries, pushing boundaries, pushing boundaries. Now social media are pop. Everybody's dick riding, jumping on the wave. You was listening to your American stuff. What's happened? Uh, 
no, Lucas, that's not true actually, because if you go back 10, 11, 12 years ago, I was actually in most of these UK artists' music video. Yes, Sway and Lamar, I was in that song that's going back a good 11 years, so I don't know what you're talking about. So when it was kind of moving into grime, I wasn't exactly a fan, I can say that, but I've always supported it regardless, because obviously I'm UK, this is where I'm from. Now, if you keep Michael Zappa like off, beat, off. Yeah, and, and I'm like, can you just rap anyhow? All right, but Cardi B, yeah, okay, artists, Cardi B, Cardi B. Oh, lovely. The All of you love this Cardi. This is the one thing I've been trying to say the whole time, yeah? Listen, I'm sorry. you not keep talking about- See how they're going quiet? <laughs> Cardi B can, does not write her own lyrics. She never has. So you can't, if that makes her an artist because she's got an album out. She's Ooh. never Hold written on, sorry, her own sorry. lyrics. Hold on, sorry, sorry. You ain't got facts. Right? Have you B got facts that she's never written her own lyrics? It's well known that Cardi B does not write her own lyrics. From how long? From, from, from the inception, Cardi B doesn't write her own lyrics. But Cardi B, I would still call her an artist, not based on her music, but based on... And, and even then, this word artist is flimsy, but I call her an artist because she's... She's she's a, a performing artist. Are you an artist? She, 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 I'm not an artist. I consider myself a rapper. I wouldn't really call myself an artist, but I'll call her an artist. But you told Joe I call she myself can rap. a rapper. You can do I that. My, but I can call myself an artist. But you're an not artist. Okay, I can call myself an artist. Today. So you're a rapper. I can call myself an artist, and no one can tell me anything because you know. Are you a rapper? Me. Yes. But back to your point about like drawing a stick man and saying you can't call yourself an artist. That's false because it's a style of art. I can draw a bunch of stick man and put it in a tape, and someone will buy that for a lot of money if I can sell it or if the if I can get the fans. Can't Cardi B mm. is someone who can never, has never dropped a freestyle in her life, but we all call her a rapper. Mm. She's an actress. Mm. She's on Love and Hip Hop. She's multi-talented yeah, 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 because yeah. she's a nice, she's a personality. Yes. That you but like. we call her, yes, yeah, she's like. a personality. And that's why I said it's biased. But here's the thing, we're talking about people not having viral cirrhet. What's, the, what's wrong with someone singing on LMA? She sang on the internet. Decreased, Literally she sang on internet on every day. On other people's until soundtrack, until you somebody all signed her, her tune. That was And she has a number one. Michael, Michael Dapper, Dapper had built a following that. to Thank the point that I he think. got on one extra because he had built a following. Nowadays, it's a lot more quick. Because he's a talent. So if you, so quick, yeah. okay, you see, like, you see Mo one. the comedian who yeah. does um, Get the Cans at Julie and whatever. Yeah. Mo has been a comedian for years. But only recently, people are seeing viral and they see, oh, why is this guy blowing up and like The same thing is with Michael Dapper. He's been acting, putting on his yeah, own show. Yeah. The same thing with my man. Nobody's discrediting. No, but no, no, you are. No, because no, when you're saying someone is an artist. Okay, you know the last point I'll give you, yeah? I'm trying to say is that he's not No, the last point I'll give you, yeah? If somebody goes on the internet and they start doing impressions tomorrow, yeah? They start acting. If someone goes on the internet and start acting and they get a deal tomorrow, are you going to say they're not an actor because they didn't go to acting No, I'm not going to say that. Do you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say they're a talent, they're creative. This is why I think both of you are biased, yeah? And I'm going to break down it, it factually, yeah? What you said, from what I glean, this is what you said, yeah? You're a talent if you do many different things and then you end up doing, like, music. Like Michael Dapper, you said, you said oh, he did comedy, he did this, he did that, and he made one tune that banged, yeah? Let me tell you why that's biased, yeah? I didn't say that, by the way. That's not what, what? I meant, so you've We're interpreted it wrong. Said, okay, so... What, do you want what? me to tell you what I said? You, no, no, I asked you, no, I, I asked you, I asked you, I should do something between a talent and an artist, and you said a talent is someone who is multifaceted. No, that's, that's not what, what I said. said. You no, said, I didn't. Okay, so, so let me explain. Right, but explain. No, no, wait. That's what I tried to get. That's what I tried to get the answer to. Again. You did say something about a talent. You did. You gave me five different points. Yeah, but he's what, from the talent. Talent. Wrong All right, you don't need to direct it to her. All of these people that you consider artists right now started off as what you consider a talent. Cardi B started off as a as a stripper, then on Love and Hip Hop. At which point she was not an artist. Based on what you're saying, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish what I'm saying. Based on what you said, at the point where Cardi B was on Love and Hip Hop and known for Love and Hip Hop and not known for anything else and, and stripping, she wasn't an artist. Now that she's made a couple tunes that have banged and you like it, she's an artist. I gave the example of EO. He was a he was an internet comedian, yeah, who wrote his own bars. Wait, Is let me EO? can you not stop EO German. 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 Uh, that little kid. Dripping in a German. Yeah. He was an internet comedian. He was an internet comedian. I don't know him. That, that's fine. Right. That, that transitioned. That transitioned into music. He's got a couple of tunes now, and now people are like, he's an artist. LMA has got two tunes. Album. That, yeah, album. And, uh, yeah, fine, she's fine, fine, right, cool. She's got two tunes. But she's uh, talented. Let me finish. Let me finish. So why I'm saying this bias, what you're considering as artists is people who only do music and you like the way they came into the music industry. If someone does something else, if someone does something else, let me, let me Remember, Bob, Bobby, let me Bobby Smurder came let me in the game like this, you know. That's oh my God, stop saying. cutting me off. If someone had no body of work to your If somebody does something, but Bobby, he would Okay, but that's what I'm trying to say. That's why I asked for a definition. If 
somebody does something else, Seek it home. If, if somebody is a comedian, if somebody is a, is a writer, if somebody is, a, is an actor, then transitions into music and just happens to blow off a gimmick tune, people don't want to consider him an artist because you don't like the fact that he's done a crossover from another thing in, into music. The way, wait, let me finish, let me finish. You the way, is the way the that you accept. When I make a song, let's just, this is literally my lyrics. Ha ha, tutu, tu, papa, poo, poo, whatever, yeah? <laughs> let's just say, and it's blows, blow. and it's blows, blow. because it's weird and it's catchy. Yes. Am I an artist? Yes, because okay. you create it. Oh. You know why? No, 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 do you know why you're an artist? You know why? Now that I know where you're coming you know from, why? I'm fine. Do you know why? That's it, that's it. That's all I Shama. wanted Shama. to Shama. know. If you asked me to paint a picture of you today, yeah, and I did it, um, what's it, what's it, what's it called, um, when it's proper realistic, uh, hyper, hyper realistic, you would be like, oh my God, that's sick. But if at the same time I did a Van Gogh and I put your nose over here and your ear over there, you'd be like, like oh, what the fuck is this? Artist. But so someone like will be it. like, oh my God. That's, that's, so but here's if you made a song and you was going, doo -goo -doo -goo, whatever the fuck you was doing, yeah? <laughs> and someone's like, oh my God, this it is takes someone to pull out like, And, and if, if, it, if it blew, let's say in London, it was like, oh, this is dead. But in Japan... Why are you talking hypothetically? Gangnam Style is the most listened to song on this planet and it's the weirdest song on the planet. That's a different conversation. <laughs> See, that's why I say you're biased. You're comparing sick with artist. You're saying if you're shit, then you're not an artist. That's a completely different conversation. That's shit to you. Or if you blow saying, overnight, if, if or if you blow shit, overnight, you're not an artist. Then you're not. If I take a blank sheet of paper and I draw a stick man, and then I make a series of this, and I tell you this is my collection, and I have meaning behind it and everything, none of you in this world can tell me I am not an artist. You can say you don't like my art, but you can't tell me I'm not an artist. It's my art. This is my work. It might be simplistic to you. It might be shit to you. But to somebody out there, they might be like, this guy has done something different. Because there's people in prison right now studying um, their own cases and representing them themselves in the court of law. Uh, so music, what I'm saying is... You can be a shit artist, artist and, and, and on top of it, you lot associate hard work. So anything is work. music, anything you know, is music. No, 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 Chama. Anything is music, anything. Is, anything. Chama, one thing is, Chama, one thing is, what you are saying. You know what is it? You're associating hard work within a graft as, oh, well, he deserves to blow. It's Whereas there's people that don't put music. Yeah. There's people that don't put in that hard graph, like Gamna, uh, Gangnam Style, like um, we are the cheeky boys, you are the cheeky girls. It doesn't have to Chico be. time. A, you can just blow, and that in itself is an artistry. Do you get what I'm saying to you? That's what I'm trying to show you. No, you are. Do you know why? And the reason I'm backing him. Do you know? Do you know I'm backing him? Yeah, I'm backing him because you know why? If you look at him, if you look, if you look at. Thank you. Shama, how, many, you, how many songs do you have to do to be an artist? Shama, if how many you know, songs? If, if you how many songs before you run out? Forget, forget. Forget. So what is the point? It needs to be, it needs to be great. How many of you listen to UK music before the last four years? Oh. Well, you're an artist. It needs the rest to be great. Of you. It needs to be music. What were you not listening some, to? Some soft stuff. What were you listening to? Sorry, sorry, quick one, quick one, quick one. Fact finding. Hey, fact finding. Hey, five years ago, what were you listening to? UK. Let me finish. I used to listen to Trip Mark back in the day. I used to have channels. Okay, and this is what. Hey, listen, listen to. Southside, that's where we're coming from. Southside, that's where we're coming from. Hold on, hold on, please, please. Hey, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Five years ago, if you are somebody that listens and is in tune with the music like you are with the American stuff, you could say a body of work like how you're defending these artists. Yeah, I could right now. Yeah. With what you're listening to. So you said you, five years ago you used to listen to Chipmunks. I used to listen to Chipmunks. Name me two Chipmunks albums. Um, he done a song with five years ago. N next, wait, I'm not going to ask you. I'm wait, 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 please. You're please. Oh I didn't say I know his album. I'm going bullshit. somewhere. I'm going I just somewhere. Songs. Hold don't on, bullshit. hold on. I just listen, I just hold on. Don't push it. Hold don't push on. It. Hey, listen, okay. work with me. Hold on. Okay, cool. I'm going somewhere with this, yeah? Cool. You listen, you, listen, you listen to music as well, yeah? Yeah. Name me a couple albums of artists five years ago. Albums. From the UK. I'm not good with named albums. I can name you uh, artists and crews and stuff. Can you stuff. name Beyonce's album? No. I'm you not can't name none of Beyonce's albums? No. I'm not good with albums. I'm not good with albums. You can't name none of Beyonce's albums? I sound stupid if I tried to guess one. The point, okay. So the point, wait, hold on. If you say name okay. songs, I okay. can name songs. So the point I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, five years ago, the push and the drive that everybody has behind this UK industry of wasn't music there. wasn't there. Social media People don't even know the body of work that a lot of these artists have. All of a sudden now, our music is the thing. And 
Guys are criticizing them. Guys are talking about them like as if you know the hardship that these guys have gone through to put in and give you this work that you're listening to right now, that you're enjoying. Now, what you got to understand is people, hold on, people like Chipmunk. Pe hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. People like Chipmunk. People like Ghetto. People like Gigs. People like Mashtan. No, the reason why I'm mentioning these names, Lethal B, Dizzy Rascal, these men didn't Skepta. just put in work, Skepta, overnight. It's a body of work. And you can't keep Hold saying people on. Work Relax, relax, relax. These artists that we, we call as verified artists, bodies of work, yeah? At the time when our industry wasn't as prevalent as it is today, None of us looked at them as artists. I did. I did. Because they were That's not. Land. I did. What are you talking hold about? Hold on, hold on. Because they were not. That's what you came to land on. That's where you came to land. Am I, am, am I trying shit here? Yeah. Am I trying shit here? Yes. You're trying shit. I'm trying shit here. You're trying shit. You man, you man looked at Kano, Gigs Dizzy. in 2008 when I was in Cyprus on Nissi Beach Bashi. doing Walk in the Park. Bashi, Kano. Is Bashi still doing music now? He's an actor. Is Kano still doing music yeah. now? No, not really. Not heavily. Not heavily. All right, listen. You don't know what I'm yeah. talking about. You're trying. I, no, no, you, I, I, I disagree the with you. The man you know that are doing music now that have It's a different generation, bro. What are you talking about? You're not hearing me. People, you've been talking about body of work. You've been talking about how they blow, yeah? At what point does someone who, who do something, who has entered some level of music, at what point do we start considering them an artist? You misinterpreted what I said. So for your question is this. I'm basically saying anyone that has done music, lives, breathes music their whole entire life, yeah. That is an artist. Whether no, they're not. blown, you no. could be singing your whole entire life, rapping your whole entire life, making beats your whole entire life, and only ever produce one single or one whatever it is. To me, you're an artist because I classify artists with music. I classify footballers with football and blah 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 blah. So I'm not saying that someone that's done acting, comedy, no, and all the rest that. of it, and then transitions no, into music, they're not question. a talent and they're you still not didn't creative, my question. and they don't have artistry. Still, I'm saying, but they're not you know, artist. I'm being specific. This is my question. Okay, you're a singer. So you're a singer. Wait, wait, wait. You're a singer. You're an actual singer. Yeah. You don't do anything else. You start singing this week, yeah? And I'm good at hold it, on, I'm yeah, mashing it up. Yeah, you're good at it. You're, nice. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You haven't been doing it. You haven't been doing it your whole life, which is what you just said. You yes. started this week, yeah? Yes. You, si you, you sing for someone next week. Yeah. You put out a track next week. The track blows. Yeah. Are you an artist? But it depends what the track oh, is. Oh, my oh, days. You are, are you yes, artist? you are. That's yes, all I want to know. Are. Yeah, and, and you know why? Do you my, know why? My yay is different to your yay. Guys. It's a remix to a tune that's already been out. The guy has a body of work. Why did he not bang if like I the rest? If I take a piece of paper today, yeah, and I take a pen, and I draw something on that paper, and I tell you, no, no, it's the same thing. If I draw on a piece of paper and I tell you I'm an artist today, none of you in this room could tell me otherwise. If I write, if I write, let her answer, if let I write her answer, let her today, answer. No, I'm talking. If I write a 16 bar today, if I write, if I write eight bars today and I tell you I'm a rapper, no one can tell me I'm not a fucking rapper. Hey, if, come if, on. I go to, if I go to a gym and I bang a weight today or I, or I bang weights and I tell you I'm a bodybuilder, I'm a bodybuilder. Until I get to a point where everybody else acknowledges me, I'm a bodybuilder. What are you talking about? So you're an artist. End hold on, on, man. Hold on. You have a fight outside and you box the guy to death or you, you knock him out. You're a boxer, B. You're That's a fighter. That's That's yes. You're a boxer, B. Come on. You box in the ring, then. Going back to what you said about oh, five years ago and music. Music's like fashion, though. Do you get what I'm saying? No. Five years ago, let me finish. She's right. It's no, like fashion. Let That's me hard. That's let a very me good finish. Point. Music's like fashion. Five years ago, all of us weren't really listening to UK music like that. Hey, speak like, for yourself. No, yeah, like, no, not all of us. Like, we were more supportive of American artists than we were of UK artists because at the time, that was the genre of music that was popping. And you're forgetting it's about the familiarity. You Are know, you not more you familiar know, with Tinti Strider? You know, yes, I was. Yeah, I'm familiar. But would you not rather listen to Jay-Z, J. Cole? Because we're so close to that artist, or because we know some of these artists personally, that, yeah, we may not take them as serious as a Beyonce or as a Jay-Z. Back then, five years, so that's what I'm saying. Use your brain. Use your brain is easily manipulated. That's what I'm trying to say. We don't give the artists nowadays, yeah, the credit that they deserve. Wait, in the sense I said it we before don't... and I'll say it again. Yeah. The same way you cannot walk into a hospital. Hold on, shh. Let me finish. The same way you cannot walk into a classroom and suddenly certify yourself as a doctor is the same way, let me finish. Is the same way you cannot, you cannot hop into a studio. Let me finish. No, 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 it's not a bad analogy. And let me explain to you why. Because there's a lot, the, the UK in America, 
there's a very there's it's a there's a good balance. Hold on. There's a very it's not illegal to be a musician. <laughs> you know like that? Try. No, I'm just saying that, that point is you very bad. Question, it's a bad oh. analogy. <laughs> Let Even with that, there's saying. people that still teach okay, about cool. certificate. You've got preachers, you've got, say, the, you've got people that are surgeons Jesus to a certain Christ. level. They don't even right, need to cool. cut you open. As they I can said, give you something to drink and they'll change the dynamics of your whole body. You'll never Picasso be ill again. Earlier, yeah? So that is and all... And you talked about... If you look at Picasso's work... He has no qualification, Picasso, by the way. Hold on. Picasso's work... Picasso's work from the beginning... Picasso. Picasso's work from the beginning to the end are very different works, and that shows his artistry. So you cannot say, oh, if I... It doesn't the, show his artistry. It shows his journey of his artistry. But he was an artist the day he started artistry. doing art. Hold on. It shows his artistry. Let me finish. It shows his artistry. Was Picasso not classed as a madman at the time? Was he not a weirdo for doing the, the art that he did at the time? And Van Gogh. People were like, oh, he's got an artist, he's joined, he's, he's joined people with no ear. I'm tired, my throat is hurting me. I just, I just want to go to sleep at this point. Because I, I don't know if they're trying their hardest not to understand what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm just irritated. I just, I just want to sleep now. Performing arts is artistry. So if any of you tomorrow decide that you want to be an artist, I will back you. But if your thing is whack, I will not back you. Anyone can be an artist. I don't think everyone can be a musician, but anyone can be an artist, yeah. Shack up all of you, I love sheep. Are you going to go shack on the beat as well, cuz? <laughs> I wish you everyone shack on the beat, cuz.